Well, as you've heard, there's been a lot of talk and debate this week about privacy concerns with the TSA's use of full body scanners. But there's another big concern out there as well. Are these machines safe? Are they exposing you to harmful radiation? Yeah, it's an interesting aspect of all of this. With us now is Dr. David Samadhi, a member of the Fox News Medical Aid Team and chair of the Urology Department at Mount Sinai Hospital. Uh, doctor, bottom line it for us, should travelers be concerned about their health when they're going through these full body scanners? I really don't think there's a huge uh, concern over here, Harris. You know, uh, I just came back from Europe myself and I went through one of these scanners and it was actually fairly easy. We talk about that. But the level of radiation that you're getting over here is, is fairly low and there shouldn't be uh, cons much concern about this. You know, you're worried about skin cancer and the other organ is thyroid because it's a radio sensitive. So those are the kind of cancers that we're worried about. The kind of x-rays and radiations that you're getting from these scanners is very different than the chest x-ray or CAT scans. When you look at the amount of radiation that comes from this, with, chest x with, with this you would get about 0.1 Kelly microsievert. With chest x-ray you would get about 100 microsievert and CAT scan is 100, I'm sorry, 10,000 microsievert. So hmm. the level of radiation that you would get from this is extremely low and it's almost about 1,000 x-rays for one trip. So I wouldn't be really concerned about this. So it really doesn't appear to be that threatening, but again, you've got pilots and flight attendants who fly quite frequently. Uh, and then you've got frequent flyers too. Now they might have an exception. Would That's they? right. Well, the amount of radiation you're getting over here is, is equivalent to about five minutes of extra flight, if you will. So it's minuscule, it's not really of concern. My bigger concern is just like the CAT scans and x rays, we've mm -hmm. covered this topic mm -hmm. before, where one place you would get more radiation exactly. than the other place, right. and it's not completely standardized. The monitoring of this radiation to me is a bigger concern as a doctor. Are the TSA members really qualified or are going through a special training knowing how much radiation is at JFK versus other? Uh, airports, and that's really a big concern. We need yeah. to make sure that we monitor that very closely. Is that a big enough concern that you would say no to a body scanner and yes to a pat down, real quickly? Yes, I think that would be the big concern. We want to make really? sure that it's all standardized. We want to make sure that, you know, if the software breaks down, one person is not getting too much oh. radiation, and that's a big concern. My own personal experience, I went through this this week. I came back from Europe. I had my uh, watch on, I had my shoes and belt on, it was easy, I went through no problem. If it's done well and it's standardized, I think we're going to be okay. So you do it again? Absolutely. All right. All right. Doctor, Doctor thank Samadhi. you. All right, guys.